prosecutors do not typically treat white people's art in America as criminal evidence. Didn't happen to Johnny Cash, who was arrested seven times. Didn't happen to Jack Sparrow, government named Johnny Depp, in a case that was about violence. Every lyric... What up, what up, y'all? It's Coffee tapping back in with another one, guys. We got a lot of news to get into. Y'all heard that clip there in the beginning. We got to talk about that. We got the latest drug craze, the drug sensation out there in Pablo Escobar's old stomping grounds. We got an update on prison break Bama. Y'all remember that? I still can't believe that them motherfuckers got caught that quick, that they didn't have a better plan. You know what I mean? Like they had the upper hand. It was an inside job. It still didn't even get out the country. That was lame, right? We got some hoop dreams, J. Cole, and we also... um got some other hip-hop news and what's not so let's jump right into things you heard that clip there in the beginning right as we know this ysl case is going on right now and uh, we see at the moment it's it's a heavy indictment there's a lot going on with that case it's not anything i can sum up in this quick video but we're just speaking specifically about the lyrics being used as evidence we've seen this in other cases but in this current situation right now between social media and the music there's been a lot of what prosecutors have talked about as we see young thug sitting in jail gunner sitting in jail yeah Gotti is cooperating and lying about it it's wild, man. But what do you guys think about that statement there that the news was talking about that, uh, you know, it, this only seems to happen in hip hop, specifically targeting black artists. Right. Um, you heard him. Johnny K or Johnny Cash. Was I talking about Johnny Cage? Like, I'm not talking about Mortal Kombat with the block, but Johnny Cash arrested seven times. You know, he's got some out there lyrics and some songs and whatnot. Um, and they're just talking about Johnny Depp, this this whole situation with Amber Heard. Um, he does make music, but in that situation, they're not talking about his music. They're talking about the art. They're talking about some of the parts he's played and things he's done in movies. And yes, at times, um, Johnny Depp has had creative control and helped key in and, and come up with some of um, his scripts and stuff like that. I'm not saying he writes them, but Johnny Depp, you know, very involved in his uh, career. But what do you guys think, man? Uh, this was shared by Kevin Lyles. You know, he's been very proactive advocating for Young Thug. He just came to court. You know, he, he's talking about this ain't just a normal label. I care about these artists and he cares about hip hop. And, you know, he, he shared this. He said, this is unfair. Why is it only happening to artists in hip hop? Why is it only happening to black hip hop artists? Like, let's keep it a buck, guys. Just being honest. I'm a big Eminem fan. We talk about Eminem a lot on this channel. But man, Eminem's talked about killing Kim, his mom, killing Dr. Dre, all kinds of out there ish. And don't forget, Eminem had a um, pistol whipping case, right? That guy, he said, you're full of ish too, Guerrera. That was a fist that hit you. Um, I don't believe they were bringing up the Slim Shady lyrics in the courtroom, right? What do you think about this? Let's 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 discuss it in the comments, y'all. Next up, y'all, um, you see this footage here. You see an artist performing. This is Kevin Gates. I know the 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 footage ain't that clear. Nothing, not any big news here. Just uh, it's kind of funny, honestly. You see, he fell down and busted his ass, but uh, he hopped up immediately, tried to play it off, came up out of his shirt like, yeah, I'm turned up. You know what I mean? But um. I thought this just was a kind of funny viral moment. But um, what I wanted to ask y'all about for those, you know, who are fans of Kevin Gates, like who's still rocking with Kevin Gates music hard right now? You know, um, back in what when did he catch that gun case? Was that 2017, 2018, somewhere around there? <clears throat> it's always felt to me like when Gates touched down after that. Um, he didn't have the mo same momentum he had behind his career. Like his name lost some of that buzz. Am I tripping or is that really how it is? I'm just curious to know. Like, I'm not saying he fell off, but I don't know. It just to me felt like things were never the same. Kind of seems like the media don't cover him the same way either. After all that, what do y'all think? Next up, man, you see J. Cole, this footage rolling, you see the caption, and uh, obviously I didn't include the audio, but this is no cap at all. The fans are going wild. When they sub Cole into the game and that music hits, 
they go crazy. They lose their ish. You know what I mean? We were talking about this like a week or so ago on the channel. J. Cole doing his thing over there playing basketball in Canada, playing for the Scarborough Shooting Stars. Now, we saw that three-pointer that he hit go viral and everything like that. But all in all, um, Cole's only played in four games, played uh, 30 minutes, six points. Okay, so he's not putting up big numbers, but he's big publicity for this Canadian league. You know, as this is a new league, I believe, right? I believe it's a relatively new league. I know his team is, is a new team, the Scarborough Shooting Stars. But uh, And big shout out to Canada. I always got to put that out there when I like on this channel. I've said it numerous times. You got a lot of family over there. I fluck with Canada. That's a whole nother story. But Cole's got to leave for a while to do this um, tour. He may he may already have. I'm not quite sure. You know what I mean? Because um, he played last year in a league in uh, Africa for a team called the Patriots. Only played a few games or whatever. There was some, you know, uh, cats that were basketball players who were bashing Cole, you know, in the media saying this is BS. This guy only gets a roster spot because of who he is. But I'm just curious to see, um, you know, the Scarborough team, I believe, intends to keep Cole, even though he has to leave for this uh, tour. Um, you know, I don't know how it works as far as with roster spots. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, in the NFL, they got like the IR, the practice squad and different ish like that. I don't know how long Cole can leave and how that all works, but it seems they plan to keep him. Because he, he brings a, a lot of good publicity and good buzz to the team and to the league. You feel me? Next up, man, this is that ish I was talking about over there in Colombia. Uh, Escobar's old stomping grounds, right? What was that? Medellin cartel, which uh, I don't believe exists anymore. Maybe I'm tripping, but peep it. The new craze over there that they're talking about is some, it ain't white girl, it's pink girl, right? This looks like some is straight out of a Nicki Minaj video. But um, they're calling this pink yayo, but I guess it really isn't even yayo. Um, I don't know exactly how you say this. In English, it's 2CB. The, the, the Latin name is like something different. But I guess this is based off some old drug cocktail that was uh, mixed up a long time ago. That's like a mixture of LSD and MDMA. But this ish, when tested, kind of be kind of seems to be some kind of mystery concoction like they can't quite pinpoint what's in this ish you know what i'm saying but it's going for six times the price of regular yayo a regular chi chi get the yayo and apparently it has a whole glamorous lifestyle and culture behind this pink powder you know what i'm saying like uh I don't know if it's EDM music, some kind of club music that goes with this. Motherfuckers is wearing masks. It's, a, it's some whole other ish, but it's just wild. They don't even know what's in this ish. There's there's all kinds of ish out there. You can you can uh, look into this. I believe Vice did a piece on it. Tap in. What do y'all think about this? Some pink powder, man. For 11 days, we followed the Alabama escapee and the jail official who gave him his freedom. And we were told Casey and Vicki White, who are not related, had a jailhouse romance. Well, now as Casey White's legal team is gearing up for his pending murder case, a new picture is being portrayed. They say Casey was in the, quote, care and custody of Vicki White the entire time the pair was on the run. Senior correspondent Brian Enton was there as the Whites were found in Indiana. And of course, Vicky died as a result of a self-inflicted gunshot wound at the end of that manhunt. And Brian is with us tonight. Brian, it sounds like um, a pretty critical defense strategy being put forth here. Yeah, this is certainly very interesting, Marty, this new defense strategy by Casey White's uh, brand new attorney. First of all, he also wants a change of venue. He says all of this media attention uh, has tainted the jury pool and he wants the trial to be moved to a different part of Alabama. And you mentioned the very other interesting part of this. In one of the filings, uh, Casey White's attorney uh, said that Casey was in the custody of Vicki White the entire time. The care and custody of Vicki White almost now trying to put all of the blame on her. 
Casey White had already been serving a 75-year sentence for a home invasion, carjacking, and police chase when he confessed to stabbing 58-year-old Connie Ridgeway back in 2015. And information shows that Vicky and Casey began a jailer and jaily romance back in 2020. And when he was moved to the Lauderdale County Jail for a hearing, that was their jailbreak opportunity. The scenario is, is, is complicated and complex. Well thought out, well planned out. And now we know that, that this didn't, didn't happen in the last couple of three weeks. You know, it took longer than that to plan something like this of this magnitude. All right, here. So, so here's this prison break Bama update. And again, I cannot believe, like, seriously, y'all, we talked about this when it all went down, when they got knocked. Um, where were they in, like, Indiana or some ish? Not Idaho. I think they were in Indiana. Someone spotted them. There was cats at work. They had the viral video, like, yo, them are the, them are the people um, on the run. They called law enforcement. Law enforcement pulled up on them. Um, Vicky, old girl, ended up offing herself. There were some reports that the dude was going to off himself, but ultimately didn't. He just kind of surrendered. I bet you they beat the brakes off this dude. But you hear that clip there. His defense to these new charges is trying to say, well, no, he didn't escape. He was in the custody of a prison official. You know what I mean? She, she walked him right out. She she said she was taking him to an appointment. Now, obviously, this is I, I just there's no way this is going to work. She's going down like Nino Brown. You know what I mean? But um, I don't know. What do y'all think? Does, does the defense get some creative points for that? Do you think like that's about all they can do? I mean, this guy seems to be some kind of real uh, evil muff blucker. Like, I guess he killed an old lady or something like that. I don't know, man. But uh, you heard it. The defense is trying to talk about, oh, no, he was with a prison official. So y'all can't charge him with escape. <laughs> um, still crazy, though. Like I said, this this woman threw her whole life away, sold her house, all that got him up out of there but um they had no escape plan they were just playing it by ear dumb sons of, sons of bitches you know what i mean like oh we're just gonna escape from prison we don't got no plan we'll see how it goes you know which whatever which way the wind blows type is dumb asses man but that concludes this video thanks for tuning in this been coffee with another update make sure to sub to the channel hit the notification bell anyone new out there stay tuned more content dropping all day every day music news sports and much much more but more importantly as always guys hop in them comments let's talk i want to hear what y'all gotta say i'm up out of here guys peace